Hello, everyone. My name is Miho Amakost. I'm the community manager for the consultant program here at Komari Media Inc. So you're here because you want to learn more about our consultant certification course. And we're excited to share all about the program to help you make an informed decision. I'd like to go over a few housekeeping notes before we get started. This session is being recorded, and this meeting is in a webinar format, which means you will not be able to share your video or chat, but if you are joining this session live, you can submit your questions via the Q&A at the bottom of the screen. During this session, we'll cover all the basics of the Comari Consultant Program and the Consultant Certification Course, so we encourage you to be present in this moment with us. However, if you still have questions at the end, we'll have time to answer a few questions. And if we don't get to your question, don't worry. We'll leave you with our contact information and please reach out and we'll be happy to help you. Now, let's get started. So, what is the Komari Consultant Program? This program is a business certification. We give you the credential to conduct this unique professional organizing services using the one and only and world-renowned Komari method of tidying and to operate your business globally. Whenever you start a business, you want to set yourself apart from your competition, right? You'll be able to offer premier services in whatever business plan you envision for yourself using this certification. Nowhere else could you receive this qualification. But it's more than a business certification. We're a global community of like-minded professionals with a passion for this joy-centered method of organizing. And we're on a mission to help people transform their lives for the better. For many, our consultant program is the means to answer a calling that they feel, to be a part of this global movement started by Marie Kondo in her mission to organize the world. And we are organizing the world one client at a time. Now, who can become a Komari consultant? Anyone can. You don't need a special degree or any experience organizing before you get started, except for tidying your own home using the Komari method. You could have a messy, or tidy beginning. Both go on to become very successful. There's only one requirement to be a Komari consultant. You have to be committed to the Komari method and to share its life-changing magic with others. Our consultants are from all walks of life who want fulfillment in their day-to-day -day work, not just a job. Many feel that their calling is to help others find joy through tidying. Others want to be professional organizers. In fact, some are already professional organizers or home decorators who want to add the certification to their current suite of services that they're offering. Some want to experience the benefits of being in business for themselves. As a Komari consultant, you'll be building your own business. As this is not a franchise, you will have the freedom to make your own schedule, set your own prices based on the demand and what you're worth, and build your own brand based on what sparks joy for you. Finally, some join because they want to be a part of a community of like-minded individuals and simply want to share this with others. Since our program is about so much more than a business certification, even if you're not interested in going into business, as a consultant, you can still take the course simply to gain a deeper understanding of the Komari method. Some even get certified later for the sole purpose of being able to better help friends and family or offer their expertise in service to their community. Next, let me give you a quick overview of the certification as a process. The process of getting certified is rigorous, but rest assured that you will be supported every step of the way. Another important point, 
The course fee will cover all of the costs leading up to your certification. You don't need to take any additional classes to get certified. Here's a quick overview of the steps to get certified. Before taking the course, there are two prerequisites. You do need to read Marie Kondo's two books, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up and Spark Joy, or at a global title in your own language. And you do need to tidy your home or your space. It doesn't need to be a house if you are in a shared living environment. We do need to make sure everyone who joins the course already has a basic understanding of the KonMari method and has experienced the process and the magic of tidying up for themselves. On average, we notice that uh, this process takes about three to six months to become certified. Next, we'll go into more detail about what to expect when you join the course. To best meet the needs of our global community, we intentionally offer all of our virtual courses in pairs. Courses are always listed in our home time zone in Los Angeles, California. So be sure to adjust to your local time zone before you sign up for a course. Now, as a general rule, uh, the course beginning at 8 a.m. Pacific time is best suited for those tuning in from the Americas, particularly if you prefer morning courses. This is best for those based in Europe and Africa as well. The course beginning at 5 p.m. is good for those who prefer to join a course that takes place in the evening and for those based in Australia, Oceania, and Asia. The virtual consultant certification course is offered approximately three times a year in the spring, summer, and fall. The course itself takes place over three days, lasting approximately five hours each day. There is a 45 minute networking mixer, which is optional after each day. And the mixers are included with the course registration at no additional cost. Now, what will you learn? The method is about so much more than organizing and how to fold. This sets Komari apart from other traditional organizing services. The course gets to the core of the life-changing magic. We'll take a deep dive into the categories, but with a focus on the philosophy, mission, and mindset of the Komari Method and how you guide your clients through the steps. On day three, we'll go into detail of what to expect once you become a consultant in training. Also, we'll be sharing business foundations as you get your business started. Your instructors are active Komari consultants, which makes them experts. They will be sharing their wisdom and knowledge so you don't have to make the same mistakes. As for Marie, due to increasing demands on her time, she will not be in attendance at the course. However, the courses have been designed with her input. Our courses reflect the same unique approach to everything we do here at Komari. Everything is centered around joy. Our course is highly engaging and elevated like no other. It's an experience on its own to be enjoyed as well as being educational. It's highly interactive. We'll be using Zoom's breakout rooms a lot and you will get to know your fellow course attendees very well. And you'll be in the community with your kind of people. You'll be learning the art of guiding others to tidy and ultimately to help clients experience the magic of tidying and realize their ideal lifestyle. The course will be conducted on Zoom and this is the biggest silver lining of the past few years, isn't it? It makes it possible for so many people to pursue their dream of getting certified. And it'll be conducted live and the recording will be made available for you to view for 30 days after the course. And the course will be conducted in English. Now, there are two options to choose from. If you're already on the business or simply want this for personal practice, you can choose the course only option. You can always sign up for more later. So standard course at $29.98 US dollar is perfect for those 
If you're a first-time business owner, you've never owned a business before, or you want more education on business strategies and tactics to help you get certified and grow your business faster, or you prefer hands-on support and learning. Course only option at $24.99 is perfect if you've got the business basic down or you already own your own business. You're incorporating this certification into what you already do. You want to start with a course and may take some workshops if you need it. So that will be perfect for that. Now, differences are just about options. Course only is exactly what it sounds like. We have added some items to registration to make this virtual experience feel more immersive and like a community. So you will have free access to Marie's Fundamentals of Tidying video series that you can view beforehand. And you will receive some small exclusive Kalmari items and snacks that you can choose delivered right to your door, wherever you are in the world. Whereas standard course offers expanded learning opportunities that last for a year. And you have one year of access to those workshops and learn from the instructors. And you can take the course again as a refresher. Why did we think of a standard? package. On average, we discover that two-thirds of our participants have never owned a business. So we designed the course to offer more support as and when you need it with business workshops and to add on the opportunity to connect with others periodically because we want you to know you're not alone. So choose whichever investment is best for you. The standard course is going to be priced at $29.98 and the course only package is $24.99. Registration for the course is easy. It only takes about five minutes from start to finish. So go to events.kalmari.com and choose the course that best fits your schedule. Click register now and follow the prompts and that's it, you'll be registered. Now, I invite you to join me for a fireside chat with our course instructors. First up, I would like to introduce Helen Young from Calgary, Canada. She's a master level consultant, which means she has over 1500 hours of client sessions and more. Next up is Keith Bartolome from San Francisco Bay Area. He's also at that highest level of master level consultant. And both are active Komari consultants, as I said before, and they will not be speaking in theory and they'll be sharing their combined wisdom of 3000 hours or more of client sessions. Now I would like to ask Helen to tell us a little bit about herself. Thanks, Miho. Hi, everyone. My name is Helen Yen. I am a master level consultant based in Calgary, Alberta, and that is in Canada, if you don't know where that is. I joined the Komari Consultant Program in December 2016 when I attended the course in San Francisco. I became a consultant because I was actually a really messy person <laughs> and I read Marie's book and it completely changed my life and how I live. And I just really resonated with her message of joy and it really helped me find joy again. And, you know, before I became a Komari consultant, I was a new mom. I was working in the corporate world. I was feeling really stressed and overwhelmed. And after going through the Komari process, it really helped me find calm in my space. But I did notice, just like Marie said in her book, that after my tidying festival, I started to wonder, you know, where else can I find more joy? I asked myself, am I really living my ideal life? And I realized I didn't love my job and I really wanted more flexibility. I want to spend more time with my son. And I also wanted to have a job that fulfills me, not just financially, but I really want to feel like I am making a difference. And I ended up leaving my job before attending the course 
Um, I really wasn't sure what I was going to do at that time, but after the course, I started working with practice clients in that certification process, and it just it just clicked. I just felt like I found my calling and I just, I, I felt it in my, in my heart that this is what I was meant to do. And it really checked all the boxes in terms of what I really want out of a job. And so I have been doing this full time since the start. And my business is mostly working with clients one on one, but I also do a lot of speaking engagements. And I now have no question, I am absolutely living my ideal life. And I think that's also why I'm so passionate about teaching and sharing my knowledge because I want to help others do the same. The world needs more Kumari consultants. And so that's me. And now over to you, Keith. Thanks, Helen. Um, yes, I'm Keith Bartolome. I'm a master consultant in, here in the San Francisco Bay Area. I'm also a professional organizer. My business is called Zen Habitat. And I have been working in the organizing industry since 2015. I took the uh, consultant course and became certified in 2018. And since then, my business has undergone a lot of growth. And I've helped hundreds of people um, at, to this point. And, and um, yeah, it, it's awesome. Uh, I, I think in, in addition to guiding clients through the KonMari method in their homes, I get to do a lot of other work uh, in conjunction with the KonMari method. I, I, I also work with businesses. I do speaking as well. I've worked virtually with folks around the world. And right now, my big focus is on helping individuals who uh, have ADHD or other executive functioning disorders and helping them organize their home and their lives. And I became a consultant because I... I, I was working as a professional organizer and I, I, I found this book early on and, and I tried it out in my own home and I really experienced firsthand the dramatic positive changes that it can introduce in my own life. And I wanted to get better at guiding others through this process and getting that certification really allowed me to, to do that. Plus, when you're proficient in a process that really delivers lasting results, it just makes your life easier as an organizer. So um, yeah, I, I absolutely love what I do. And having um, had become a KonMari consultant, I really think that it has a lot to do with that. Wow. Thank you, Helen and Keith. Uh, you can really feel their passion and conviction, right? All right. We have a few questions for them. And we want them to just kind of share all of their stories in detail. So we have a first question. Many ask, how do I make a living out of this? How do you respond? Well, so, that's a, gr <laughs> yeah. so that's a great, great first question. I'm sorry, I kind of just jumped in there. But the short answer is you can make a great living out of this. And this is, I say this is such a great first question because I wondered about this myself too before I signed up. And I thought I would have to look for a part-time job or another full-time job or something at some point. But honestly, I've been able to make it work as a full-time job ever since I started my, I guess, journey as a Komari consultant. I did have some savings. I'm not going to lie and say I didn't have to rely on that sometimes. But, um, you know, you, and it, the, I wouldn't say the entire process of me doing this full-time has been super easy. The, it did take a lot of hard work, um, but I think just like starting any business, right? Nothing is going to be like an easy thing. Like you do have to put work into it, but it's been really fun, right? And I think that's the most important thing. The journey has been really fun and it's been worth all the work I've put into it. So I started my business at the beginning of 2017, and my business has only grown each year. My business has been supporting my family financially. Um, a few years ago, my husband went through some health issues, and he was able to take some time off work. And so, you know, it's not like we had another income that we can rely on. And it's really, we have my business to thank for that, right? Um, 
so yes, I had I, I needed to make a living out of this, and I have. And one of the greatest thing about being a Kumari consultant is that your business is really what you make of it. I make my own hours. I have the flexibility to work more or work less when I need to. I also have total control of my business and what I do. So it does allow me the flexibility flexibility of exploring different areas, different revenue streams, and develop my own offerings. Um, you know, I think it's worth mentioning that Komari Media doesn't take a percentage of your earnings. I know a lot of people have asked me about that, and they were always surprised that, you know, that is not the case. And so um, I think, you know, if you're willing to put into the work of building your business, you can absolutely make a great living out of this, just like many of us are doing right now. Wow, that sounds like an ideal work-life balance, doesn't it? All right, the second question is for you, Keith. What can people expect when they sign up for the Kalmari uh, Consultant course? Yeah, uh, well, first and foremost, I'd say that you can definitely expect a positive supporting learning environment. Um, you're going to be learning what it takes to become a successful consultant from successful consultants. So you're going to be getting advice and, and guidance from people who are, might be getting the results that you want. Um, I think one thing I really loved about the course when I took it that still rings true is you're going to get insider strategies beyond the published material. So you read those books beforehand. And, and that was something I love. Like, wow, this is how it's done. You're going to get, it goes way more in depth. You learn how to guide clients through each phase of their journey and how to deliver that material in a way that that Marie and, and us other experienced consultants do. So you, you, you're really going to boost your confidence and proficiency with the method. Of course, you're going to learn how to you know, run a business and um, that's going to save you a lot of trial and error. And that gives you a place to start. Um, it's interactive. I love that about it. You're going to be able to have all of your burning questions answered. There's a lot of opportunities for Q&A with, um, you know, like these experienced successful consultants from different backgrounds. Um, and um, we're going to address your frequently asked questions. And we're going to also provide answers to questions you never even thought to ask. And I, I think part of that uh, interactive nature of the course really lends to uh, networking. You, there's, a, there's a lot of opportunity for networking with fellow participants and also those experienced consultants that are um, teaching the course. And that in itself opens up doors uh, and, and opportunities. And that could be you know business, networking, learning, personal growth even, and just other skills. So if you believe in the KonMari method, you're interested in it, and you want to transfer those skills to others, I really think becoming a KonMari consultant is the best way to do that. Wow, Keith, thank you. And thanks for also touching on the community, you know, the importance of community. And as a community manager, I'd like to mention that, you know, this uh, group of certified consultants and the whole program, because Comrade consultants love helping people by nature. Everyone is generous and helpful and they support each other. They love to cheer each other on. And it's just a wonderful community that you're going to be stepping into. I can guarantee that. So, all right. Next question is for Helen. Let's talk about the value of Comari. What do consultants get from Comari in terms of business support? Mm. Okay, so the number one value that I can think of is simply awareness, right? Because when you are a Komari consultant, you're automatically part of Marie Kondo's movement to organize the world. And when I took the course back in 2016, I thought Marie Kondo was already a household name. But just seeing how the world has evolved and, you know, her Netflix shows, she has two and her new books. It's like now everybody knows Marie, right? And that awareness alone is priceless because it really helps so much. Um, I just find that in my experience, when I tell people I'm a Komari consultant, instead of like 
turning away immediately, like, oh, don't sell me anything. They want to know more. They're excited to find out more about it. And, you know, we're not trying to come up with our own tidying method. We're using something that already resonates so much with the world. I mean, just the fact that Marie has sold over, I think it's like 13 million copies of her book in over 40 languages just goes to show that this is a method that really resonates with everybody, right? And when you become a Komari consultant, you are listed on Komari.com, which is a great benefit. It really adds credibility to your business. Um, and you do get client referrals from it, but I wouldn't say, like, I, I don't want to mislead you and because I, I don't want to say that having yourself listed on the website is enough to have a business because you still have to do the work in order to build the awareness for your business in your own local area and in your own, um, you know, market. But I can say I don't do any paid advertisement. And I find that just having that awareness brings a lot of business my way because a lot of the times my clients will find me just through Google. They might look for um, Marie Kondo, uh, Calgary, Komari Calgary, and, you know, I would pop up. And so I would say that, you know, another great thing is that this is not a franchise, which is actually a really, really great thing because I find Komari Media as a company, they really, really encourage individuality for each consultant. They're not, um, they're, they, they want us to create a business that really supports our own ideal lifestyle. So you're not limited in having to do things a certain way or, you know, you have to, be somebody else because it's you be you right and I know this was mentioned before but I must mention it again another huge value is the community you are coming into a community of experienced consultants I think there are now um, we have consultants all over the world right? It's grown so much. When I took the course in 2016, there were four certified <laughs> Komari consultants, right? Uh, and it's just grown so much. And like Miho said, all of us, we're just like, we want to help each other. We're like, this is so cool. This is so fun. We want to help you build your business. So we're all people who are just always helping each other. I honestly could not have done this without my accountability group, which are consisted of Komari consultants that I met when I attended the course, right? And so just, you know, that saying, together we are stronger. And I also want to mention that the community has um, really improved in every way since I've joined and also the support that Komari Media provides. Um, they really do listen to the consultants Every time people are like, oh, we need to have more get togethers. We need to have more networking. We need to have more workshops. They really do listen, right? It might not happen immediately, but the work goes into it. And, you know, we're seeing now the different, all the different workshops that they offer is because of this feedback from the community. And so, yeah, that's, that's wow. my answer. Yeah. Thank you, Helen, for, for, Tooting our horn. <laughs> All right. Our next question is for Keith. What are some paths to fulfillment after getting this Komari certification? What can I do with a Komari certification? Paths to fulfillment. Well, I'd say um, fulfillment is subjective. And, right? and, and what I can tell you about is my own fulfillment when it comes to working as a consultant. For me, joy finding joy in what I do, that's always been my measure for success. And that could be personal or professional endeavors. And yeah, you can definitely make plenty of money doing this. But for me, there's a lot more to a job than just making money. You know, I spend a lot of time working as a consultant. So regardless of how much I make, I, I want to make sure I'm enjoying myself. I want to make sure that I'm having fun. So how you have fun is up to you. And that has to do with, you know, what, what kind of things can you do with your certification? I mean, you can certainly use the Conmari method as a tool to help transform people's lives, right? The course teaches you to help one client in their home, but 
Uh, the certification can also be a springboard to starting your career, whatever that looks like for you. As, as Miha mentioned, you, you can definitely, um, you know, kind of rope this into another business that you already have. But if you don't have a business and this is to be your primary thing, that's, you know, you can do that as well. And, and um, uh, you know, you're, you're an independent business owner. So the possibilities of what you can do, really, they're endless. And I think, um, again, you can definitely offer this alongside other things. You could work with corporate clients. You could do coaching, design, you know, interior design, whatever, self, self-care, self-improvement type services. And I, I think with all that in mind, as you're starting a business, it, it can be easy to get caught up in hustle or worry with any business as you're just starting out. So it's really important to embrace that journey and just have a good time and have fun. So yes, that's what I do. That's the path for fulfillment for me is finding the joy in what you do. Yes, I love it. Yeah, Keith totally just embraces the Komari method in that it is all about what sparks joy for you. And uh, we hope that you can join us in that journey of your own. All right, last question is for both of you. Now, number one piece of advice for someone who's just getting started as Komari consultant. What would that be? Helen, let's get you started. I have a very Komari answer for this, and that is to follow your joy. If you feel that nudge inside of you, that little voice that wonders like, what if I could make this happen? Wouldn't it be amazing? You know, if you have like what ifs, if you're thinking about it like that, then you should sign up for the course. You owe it to yourself to find out because not everyone in the world wants to be a Komari consultant or an organizer. And, you know, so if that little voice inside you is saying, I think that would spark joy for me, then why not? I want to say that becoming a Komari consultant has absolutely brought more joy in my life in ways I never could have imagined seven years ago. When I made the decision to join the course, I only asked myself, will it spark joy? I didn't think about the outcome, but I would say the outcome is far beyond anything I could have dreamed of. Um, You know, just, okay. Not only have I found, have I felt like I found a job that really is I found my calling in life, just like the experiences that I've had. I've had so many experiences and different job opportunities and and just the people I get to meet has been amazing, right? And I really, once again, want to call out the fact that you're not committed to working a certain way because this business is really what you make of it and you can tailor it to fit your ideal life. And when your ideal life changes, your business can change with that. Like we have so many different examples in the community of consultants who are doing this full-time, who are doing this part-time with another job or part-time because they have other obligations in life. And so you can really make this work for different lifestyles the only question you really need to ask yourself is does this spark joy and if it does I think you should go for it but if it doesn't that's okay too (laughs) wonderful why not that's right ask yourself why not say to yourself why not all right Keith yeah I'm listening to Helen I'm just thinking if you can do this if you think you can do this you probably can you know and I look back to when I was thinking about I was I was really considering, should I take this course? Should I do this? Should I get this certification? And I'm I'm thinking, what would I have wanted to hear? What would I have told myself back then? And I think that if you're looking to become a professional organizer, particularly one who's who's, going to be an authority in a well-recognized method that works, then there's no doubt in my mind that this is going to help you. I, I think that starting out can be hard. I was a professional organizer uh, uh, working as a professional organizer without certification before coming to this um, community and getting certified. And, And, you know, starting a business, it can be hard, but it's easier when you have the support and the right tools to help get you started. And I really think that's really what you're signing up for here. Wow. That's what I would have told myself. 
<laughs> well, thank you both for all these amazing pieces of wisdom. All right, I think we have time for a couple more questions from you. So let me look over here for the Q and A you have submitted. Okay, here there's one from Christina. Question for Helen and Keith: What learnings from the course did you find you applied the most to your practice? Let's start with Helen. Okay, so. I think it's like everything, right? Because I never had a business before. I wasn't an organizer. I've never helped another person organize. I wasn't one of those people that like go to people's houses and, you know, ask their friends, oh, can I help you with your pantry? I mean, I did offer, but no one ever took me up on it. Um, so I just doing the course, it really, I don't know, it's everything. I, I, I remember just like hanging on to every word of the instructor. Things even as simple as what to wear, right? What do you bring to, to a session? Um, how do you do a console call? How do you start this process? How do you lead someone through this process? All of it. And that's what, you know, the course covers. It's everything from start to finish. And then we do, you know, there's a little bit more um, on the business and how to run a business. And I don't know, just I know that's, I don't know if that's a, not a good answer, but it's really the whole thing. And I use all of it. And another thing I do want to say is that ever since I became an instructor myself, I really put myself in the shoe of where people are. And I asked myself, what did I not know when I did my business? What did I learn myself? And I put all of my hard work into those courses, right? And that's because I want to make sure that I'm helping you. So, yeah. Beautiful. Beautifully said. Keith? Yeah. Uh, uh, to respond to that, I'd say for me, because I'm coming from a different background where I, where I was already doing a little bit of this work, but for me, what I really want to think that I absorbed was the mindset. And and because you're going to be, um, it's very um, immersive, you know, you're going to be immersive in the sense of not just the course, but the community that you're going to be surrounded with. And I think there's a lot of support there in, in helping, uh, guiding you or encouraging you to choose a path that sparks joy, you know, and, and make decisions for your career and yourself that are going to lead to a more enjoyable experience and life and work life for yourself. So that's something I really absorbed. But like I said earlier, there's definitely like, I loved the in-depth nature. And it was like, wow, I'm getting like, almost like secrets to applying the method, you know, and, and how consultants are doing it. And that was something that I loved and that I won't forget, you know. And, and it wasn't just that I used those same tools, but also it allowed me to kind of start to develop my own as well. So it was like a... Um, uh, you know, a, a, a path forward, I guess, with, with creating growth for, for myself and myself as a professional. Wow. Yeah. That sounds like both of you took away a lot and built your own amazing business that you have today. All right. One more question. I think how are the consultants handling if, and when they face security issues, I would love to hear master consultants experience on that. I believe this is about safety issue, you think? Security, safety? I think so. I think maybe people are worried about going into strangers' homes. Yeah. Because that's something I was worried about when I first got started. And so first, I, I would like to answer that question. First, we do actually talk about this during the course, but um, I've never once felt unsafe in a client's home. So I do want to preface my answer by saying that but of course there's many different things that you can do yourself to ensure your own safety right so things that I do includes always making sure I have my phone on me you know I have my apple watch in case I can't locate my phone even though I know it's on me but there's you know secret buttons that can call the police my I have a shared calendar with my my husband so he always knows where I am and so you want to implement things like that to help yourself feel safer. But don't forget, 
you're not just showing up at somebody's house without talking to them first. There is many touch points up until that point, and you can implement as many touch points. You can ask people to do Zoom calls. You can ask to do a house visit. You can ask for them to submit photos. You can do all kinds of things to ensure you feel safe because at the end of the day, the most important thing is that you feel safe. So it's like, what do you need to do in order to feel safe? Great, great response. Thank you. Um, Keith, I have a really great question here for you. How do you find clients who genuinely want to change their lives, not just have someone to tidy for them? Hmm, that's a good question. I, I think as I as my business grew, I started to move away from those folks that just wanted to me to do it for them. And it, I think it probably has a lot to do with how you present your services um, to people and how you communicate what you do. So that way people, before they're even reaching out to you, they, they know what you do, or at least like when, when you get on the phone with them, you can convey how you work. I mean, because they're definitely, I can tell you from experience, there are many people that want you to walk them through the process and they want to learn from you. So it's it's a matter of just getting in front of those people that want to learn, not the people that just want, you know, want someone to do it, it for them. And, and there's a place for that kind of service as well. But there are definitely, if you're interested in teaching, there's a lot of opportunities for that. All right. Great. Thank you, Keith. I think that's it for today. And so if you're ready to register, simply visit events.calamari.com and choose the course that best fits your schedule. And I believe Tiffany is pasting the uh, event link there. And if you're still thinking about it, click learn more on the navigation bar at the top of that page, and you'll find stories about the program, including information about the Comari Consulting community, the program's mission, information about technical tools we provide you, and there'll be a lot more. So you can learn a lot more there. Also stay tuned via our consulting program newsletter for additional information, including upcoming course dates for the summer and fall. And as always, we're here for you. Feel free to reach out to Tiffany at kcevent at .com. There's no question too small. All right, that's all the time we have for today. I look forward to seeing you at the course. And don't forget, if you have any questions, I, your community manager, I'm only an email away myself reach out to us at kcsupport at .com. Thank you again and wishing each and every one of you a joyful day. <laughs>